here at Andritz in Igerson, Sweden, it's not easy making machine components every day for the pulp and sawmill industries. But by working with Abamia to find a customized machine in partnership with Stenbergs here in Sweden, they found one machine to do it all. So Magnus, you've been working here at Andritz for, for quite a while now. Who are Andritz and, and what do they do? Well, Andritz is a huge company, but here in Igesund we produce parts for the pulp mill industry and also for the sawmill industry. So what do those industries do? What's a, what's a pulp mill? Yeah, a pulp mill is uh, when you take a log and make uh, wooden chips that makes paper in the end. Yeah, and yeah. there's a lot of paper comes from Andritz, right? They say that each third paper that you hold in your hand is made or produced from a knife from Andritz yeah, in Igesund. And that shows how big the company is, which is amazing. So, so what does a sawmill do? A sawmill is uh, profiling the wooden logs into wood planks that go into uh, construction. Yeah, and we've seen a lot of logs coming up here to Igesund from, uh, from Stockholm Airport as well. So I can see why that's a big industry in, in Sweden. Um, and it's fascinating to be here and watching the machines making the components uh, for these machines. What kind of components are you making? What kind of shapes and sizes are they? Well, we have a lot. Uh, we have uh, small parts from uh, 40, 50 millimeters up to 1450 millimeters, going up to almost 1000 kilograms. Yeah, absolutely huge components. You can see the size of the machines and you can see the machine behind me. It's a brand new investment, and there's something quite special about this machine in the workshop. What's special about this brand new machine? Well, it's uh, the biggest machine we have. It, we can produce all parts that we have in-house in this machine. Yeah, which is absolutely amazing. And you've got a part set up ready for us to go and look at, haven't you? Yeah, we have. So we're here inside the loading station, Magnus. Look at this component, it's beautiful. It's already been cut quite a lot. You can see loads of chips on the bed. What kind of part is this and what does it do? Yeah, this is the power head for the sawmill industry. Uh, at the customer site, we have them in pairs, so they are profiling the log. And in here, we are milling the seatings for the holders and the, also the knives. All the parts here we produce in-house, and we like to say that we have the best knife in the world. I'm sure you would. I've seen you grinding them on the other side over yeah. there. So those knives go in here. And I guess there must be some kind of precision tolerance here with how you position the knives inside the uh, this cutting disc. Yes, absolutely. We have a high precision on this because you need uh, the quality of the chips out at the customer. So and, um, yes. and I guess the profile of the wood needs to be really clean as well. Yes. Yeah, fascinating. Right. And this must be doing a lot of logs a second, um, cutting a lot of material. And you're going to be machining this to show us soon, aren't you? Yes, we are. Yeah. And what kind of material is it? Looking at the chips, you're looking at your machining dry. It's mm. some kind of uh, some kind of steel. What, what kind of material are we talking? Yeah, it's a tool steel. Yeah, yes. brilliant. So nice hard wearing, yeah. makes me makes your customer, makes these last hopefully quite, quite a long time in your sawmill. Let's get it at the machine, let's see it cutting. Absolutely. Good. Magnus, we've seen the part machined inside uh, the Barmy THC-16. Um, it's a fascinating component, but you do so many different kinds of components. How come this is like the only machine that's on the shop floor right now um, that can do every machine, every part in your catalog? Well, since uh, we have a big variety of parts with different shapes and dimensions, we need a very specific machine for this and uh, Ibarmia was able to provide it to us with the customization of the extended column and the extra angle in the B-axis. Yeah, and I guess the, the, they need a lot of simulation, a lot of thinking about, a lot of figuring out which machine would fit, but which customizations it would take to make it all happen. Yeah, absolutely. We made a lot of work in the beginning of the pre-study and also in the start of, of the project. Yes. And what was that process like from getting 
uh, approval on, yep, yeah, we're going to customize the machine for you. So it's landing on site. We're going to start installing it, going to start commissioning it, and going to start training you. Well, we started with the communication with the Stenbergs and uh, looking at uh, different uh, kind of options and uh, landed in this type of solution from uh, Ibarmia. And uh, after that, it went smoothly on. And this being your first investment in Ibarmia, what was it about the company that gave you guys, as Andritz, um, trust in the process that they were going to be able to deliver? Well, uh, we, uh, from the beginning, we only had contact with Stenbergs, but then uh, we went down to Ibarmia at their manufacturing site and uh, had a very, very good impression with, uh, with building machines, looking at actual machines like this. So, very good impression from yeah. the company. And what's the result? Because it's not just uh, the brand new Ibarmia machine you've got that can do handle every component. You've got Brand new fixturing, brand new automation as well, full palette changes. Um, what's the result what's the, of the complete solution? Well, it's, uh, we have a lot less setup time, faster production time in the machines. Everything is faster and better.